All right, so the goal of this uh, video is to discuss the Emmet plugin and how you can use it to speed up and simplify your web development and HTML production. Okay, so first off, uh, if you don't have it installed, then you're going to have to install it. And it's not really a piece of software, it's just a, a plugin or a package. Um, I'm installing it here in brackets, um, however, it, it works in a lot of other plain text editors. So to install a new package, you just go to File, and then Extension Manager, and then this is um, a list of available packages. If we search for Emmet, then we'll see we'll find it there. So this is Emmet, and that's Reverse Emmet, and it's already installed on my machine. But if you need to install, if you just click the Install button, it'll do it pretty quickly, and it's a pretty simple process. Um, uh, while we're here, if you want to see what um, extensions you have installed, if you go to Installed, it'll list out all your installed packages here. Um, I don't have that many. Most of these are just uh, color themes for the GUI. This indentitator, I can't, can't say that, uh, that's used to um, fix your indentations, which I showed in an earlier video. And there you can see Emmet's already installed. Okay, so to begin, I want to create just a skeletal HTML uh, document um, with Emmet as opposed to typing everything from scratch. So to do that, it's really simple. You just do exclamation point and then tab. And that creates your skeletal HTML. Uh, I'm going to change this here. So I'm going to change it to Emmet Demo. And note that changes the title there in the tab. All right, so we got some default uh, metadata um, stuff in the header. We have our body tag, but there's nothing there yet. So that's why nothing's uh, uh, being produced on the page. Okay, so let's start off by creating a, a, a list with Emmet. So um, specifically, we'll create an ordered list. So I'm going to do OL, ordered list. And then I want to insert 10 list items in there as a sibling. So to specify that something's a sibling with Emmet, use the greater than sign. And then we want to do list elements, and we want 10 of them. So we'll do times 10. And then tab. And there we have a basic skeletal structure for an ordered list with uh, 10 items. Uh, let's say that we actually wanted to insert some uh, dummy or placeholder text in there. Um, so that can be done with uh, the lorem ipsum text. So let's do that. So we want to do another child, and we want to do lorem. And uh, since it's a list item, we'll just do uh, three. So it'll be three words in length. And then tab. And now we have a ordered list with some dummy fill-in text that you can you know, maintain while you work on development. And then it's also printed there. All right, let's try to produce something a little more complicated. So I'm going to start off with a div. And then inside of that div, I'm going to place a h2 header. And then I'm going to place a paragraph. But let's just do, let's do three paragraphs. Let's do times three. Note here I'm using plus now as these are now siblings within the div as opposed to children. And then I'm going to add an image tag, and then we'll add another p tag, and let's hit, or let's do let's do two of those, and let's see what that does. Okay, so there's a basic structure. We have a h2 header, three paragraphs, an image, p tag, p tag, and then they're all embedded within a div. All right, and then it gives you some of the uh, default settings, like there's the, you have to include a source if you want to link to an image, and then some alt text so you could fill those in with your image link. OK, um, let's remove that. And let's uh, fill this with some lipsum orum, uh, sorry, lorem ipsum text. So um, for this one, I'm going to do Lorem 3, and this probably won't work correctly. Yeah, see, it put everything inside of the header, which is not what we wanted. 
So we have to control that by placing this in brackets. And then same thing here with the p tag. And we'll do um, lorem, since they're paragraphs, we'll make them a little longer, 25. Close that. Wouldn't put any blank a text in the image. And again with this, we're going to do, do 20. All right, and then tab. OK, so there we have a header and our paragraphs. There's space there for our image, which there's nothing linked there, and then the two of our remaining paragraphs. OK, lastly, you can also um, go ahead and define CSS IDs or, or class selectors. Um, to go along with each of your elements. We haven't really got to that yet in the course, but I'm just going to show you real quick what that would look like um, if you want to use it. So let's say we wanted to assign this div to an ID. So that would be defined with hash tag, and then we'll just say, we'll call it div1. Same thing here. We could do dot, and we'll just call it, so um, a hashtag is for ID, and then dot is for class. So we'll do dot, and we'll do, we'll call it H class. And then for the P, we'll do the same thing. Note this has to be before the multiplication there for the number of P uh, tags, or elements. So we'll do dot P class. So it's another class. This image, we could do, let's do hash um, image one. So that's an ID tag. And then here we'll do the same thing. We'll do dot p class. OK. So now it automatically inserted in those class tags and ID tags where we had them. So here's an ID. That's class down to the image, it has an ID tag. So that's a quick way that you can start to, uh, to experiment with, uh, with adding your CSS classes in in a pretty quick, easy way. Okay, so if you're interested in learning more about this, um, this is the uh, cheat sheet. Um, if you click here, we can download it as a PDF. So this, this shows you some examples of how to build out this material or this HTML content with different, um, you know, emit text. Again, it's a lot shorter. It's a lot simpler. Um, so I recommend down installing and using this to build out simple, basic um, HTML content.